I'm healing. I've been allowed my first shot of soup today. And tomorrow I'm sure I can even have more food. And in the next couple of days, two, three days, I should be back home. This is the first indicator that Federal Alliance's bed camera could be on her way to recovery four days after she underwent surgery at IHK to clear an intestinal obstruction. The operation was successful. It was a difficult one, major one. I had three areas to untangle. But the doctors know what they are doing, and so it was successful. Kamiya was hospitalized on Saturday after she experienced abdominal complications while on campaign trail and is likely to miss most of her remaining campaign program. But even on her hospital bed, Kamiya is still urging her supporters to turn out in large numbers to vote for her on February 18th if the unfair distribution of resources in the country is to end. We need a change of political system. I've been around the country. I've talked to the Karamoja. Karamoja is rich. Why are the Karamajong poor? Bunyoro is rich. Why are Banyoro poor? Busoga is rich. Why are Basoga poor? The challenge of the, this generation is to get out of that confinement and find a system which is suitable for Uganda, which is equitable. Kami also assured her supporters that she's not affected by the constitutional court ruling, which has disqualified independent MPs who were nominated as party flag bearers without first resigning from parliament. In my particular case, I don't think that I'm affected by that ruling, since it was not my choice to leave my FDC, but it was FDC's choice to abandon me. But she blames parliament and the electoral commission for failing to foresee such problems when the multi-party dispensation kicked in. So that overlap of in the law where a sitting member of parliament must also choose to run for parliament on a party of their choice is a contradiction that should have been picked out by the lawmakers and the electoral commission because the electoral commission are the implementation agency of the electoral law. Julius Senkandua, NTV Tonight.